has it ever happened to you that you uploaded a video on YouTube and when you played it on your computer it was playing fine or when you played it on your mobile device there was no audio. In today's video we're going to discuss about this issue which I recently faced and in the end I'm going to give you two solutions so keep following along. So in the past I've been using a different mic to do in-camera audio recording. Recently I upgraded to Rode NT4 Plus mic and I used this mic in a recent video. When I played this video on my computer, it was playing fine. And then subsequently I uploaded it on the YouTube and shared a link with one of my friends. So my friend, he got back to me and he said, your video is okay, but there is no sound. I said, what, like what's going on? So I got back onto my computer, I played it and it was playing fine. So I rang him again and asked him like, what is the issue? So he said, he's watching this on his mobile device. So I put the phone down and I started watching this video on the mobile phone and guess what there was no sound but on the contrary when I played the same video on the mobile device using the stereo headphones there was sound so this whole thing made me confused like what is happening what is the problem so I started looking for solutions online and I found two solutions one solution I found on the website called shortcut.org there was a similar guy who had the same issue and he got the solution there which I will discuss later and another solution which I found on the YouTube from a guy called Tux Designer he called this problem as inward track negation and I will discuss both of the solutions later in the video so what was causing the problem so as we know that this shotgun mic it records the audio in the stereo sound now the stereo sound has two channels one is the left channel and one is the right channel but most of the mobile devices they have single speaker. So when the stereo sound is played on the mobile devices, it is basically converted into mono sound. In this case, this Rode NTG4 Plus mic, it was recording the audio in the stereo format in two different ways for the left channel and the right channel. But both of these waves, they were totally opposite to each other, which I will discuss later in the solution as well. So when both of these waves, which are opposite to each other, are converged to make mono sound on a mobile device, they cancel each other out. As a result, there is no sound. Okay, so this audio is extracted from today's video. It was recorded on the Sony S7 III using Rode NTD4 Plus mic. As you can see, this is a stereo sound. So let's play it first. So playing this audio on a stereo device plays perfectly but if you play it on a mobile device with stereo sound you will see there is no sound. To find out why we need to zoom in. So if you look at this wave here you see this wave is facing upward whereas this wave is facing downward. So both of these peaks, they are opposite to each other. So when they are played on a mono device, on a mono sound system, because they are opposite to each other, so that's why they're canceling each other out. Let me show you how it plays on a mono sound system. To do that, first we have to convert it to the mono. And to convert it to the mono, we have to go to edit, convert sample type, from the channels here you can say you have to select mono so once you select mono okay so now this audio is converted to mono so if we try to play it out now and let's see what happens so there is no sound so let's go back so as you can see, because these two waves, as I showed you, they are opposite to each other. So that's why when they are played into a mono sound system, there is no sound. They are canceling each other out. So what is the fix? The first fix, which I found on shortcut.org, there's one of the guy there, he said, like what you have to do, you have to delete one of your channels. Say you delete the right channel and then you copy the left channel onto your right channel. So let's do that. 
so hit U control all to select all and then hit delete so now we have deleted our right channel now we disable the right channel go back to left channel let's zoom out and hit control all then control c to copy and disable your left channel go to your right channel hit control v okay so now we have copied the left channel onto the right channel so if you zoom in you can see it will be showing the same waves so as you see from these peaks so they are exactly same as left channel so let's zoom out and play it now so has it ever happened to you that you uploaded a video on youtube so the second solution i found on the youtube from the guy called text designer so he called this problem inverse track negation so his solution i show you right now to do that first we have to hit ctrl z to go back to the original settings where the waves are opposite to each other okay yeah, so here the waves are opposite to each other now his solution is what you do you select one channel so i've disabled the left channel i've selected the right channel so to select it all control a then you go to effect and you go to invert so what this has done it has inverted this wave and if you have noticed before they were facing opposite direction now the both of the waves they are facing the same direction so let's go back and play now so has it ever happened to you that you uploaded a video on youtube so this is how you fix this problem 